Today, John Del Toro Richardson came to my class and he decided that he wanted to teach us a bit about a song that we were playing. He was teaching us simple things about the guitar, how to make it. It sounds cooler. I'm passing through to go to Salina, Kansas this weekend to play at the Blues Masters program that they're having up there. It's awesome to know that somebody that has been playing guitar for a long time can actually come and teach us a little bit, uh, use a little bit of his time. My name is John Del Toro Richardson. I'm from Houston, Texas. I got my first guitar probably when I was about y'all's age. I didn't know what I was doing with it, so I beat on it, and I left it in the corner until I became 19, 20 years old, and then I picked it up and started playing with it. Believe it or not, the guitar has taken me around the world. I've got to see amazing things and play for amazing people and meet a lot of my heroes. Today we heard how to play some other chords on the song that we knew. Now I'm going to show you how to play it in a little different style. We're going to use some different some different strumming techniques and some different a different a little different way to do it, okay? Okay, that sounds kind of that looks difficult, doesn't it? But it's not. It was a lot different than what we normally do. I just liked how different it sounded at first, and like, I like trying to play it. I'm gonna put it really high, I'm gonna put it real low, and then I'm gonna try it with each different fret, see how different it sounds. The Wichita Blues Society put this together. Doing this is probably the most rewarding because as a kid, for me, we didn't have these kind of programs. They have YouTube, it's so different for, for everybody now. So. I, I'm blown away by the knowledge that these young people have in playing guitar or just playing music, period. They have so much knowledge and it's all because of YouTube and technology that everything is right there at their fingertips every day of the week and, and, and their minds are like sponges. It's kind of a stress release, honestly, and um, I just had my orchestra class um, just last hour and so it helps me with both the notes, memorization, and it gets, me, it gets me better grades, so. The freedom that you can play whatever you want. You can play, if you don't feel in the mood to play one song, you can play another song and it's just good. I enjoy coming here because it's giving back. Um, I want to see this music continue to grow. Um, I don't want to see it to die. Everything that was shown to me, I want to pass on to the next generation in, in hopes that it continues to live. And uh, these young people are the ones that'll, that'll do that. 